Hello, Georgie Burns here. And today I'd like to show how I made this card. To make this card, I've used a few stamp sets. Right, the main one is Jar of Love, Jar of Flowers, sorry. And I'm going to be using this bottom Im image here. Well, part of it, not the whole image. Forever Blossom, and I'm just going to use that flower and the leaf. Forever Fern, I'm just using them leaves. Butterfly Wishes, and I'm just using this flower here. And Label Me Bold, I know this is retired, but I want to use that sentiment. Card, I've got, I'm changing the colour, I'm going with Purple Posy. So I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth and folded. A piece, two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and I've also got scraps, and I need some more scraps. So, this big bit to do. All right, so I've got scraps of white. Now, um, I'm also going to be using the little flower punch for the centre flowers and for these ones at the side here. Um, right, I've cut out already three of the flowers. We need one more. I did do four, but I messed this one up. So we've got to do another flower. And I've already cut out the leaves, I just need one more leaf, I've only got four here, so I need, where's that gone, oh. I need one more leaf, and we've got to do the flowers, and we've got to do the stamping, so let's get started, so on our white bit, with old olive, and our leaves, we're going to stamp the page with leaves. Now I want one in each corner. Like that. And then one at the side. Don't worry about the middle. Because you won't be able to see it. I think that's what I did, didn't I? Yeah. That's all we need the odd oil for. Oh no, I'll keep that out. And I'll stamp my little leaf. Because that'll need cutting out. And that's all I need from odd oil. Alright. Put that to one side. We don't need it for now. Bring this a piece of scrap in. And your flour. Ink it up and push down. That's all I need that for. What else do I need? Right. For my yellow flowers, I've got my... No, I haven't got it out. Um, where is it here? Got my flower on a block. All I did with this was colour the centre in with my Crush Curry marker pen. That's all I'm doing. It's just the centre. That's all I want. And press it down. And I do this three times. And then I get this 
the small flower punch out, place it in and make sure the yellows are in the centre and pop them out. And then we've got some nice white flowers with yellow centres. Just like that. Let me put them nearer so you can see them. Who you got there? Which I think they look quite nice. That's that. That's them. That's the leaf. Right. We need some small flowers, and I didn't bring purple posy. In fact, I'm going to use. Island tether because I want them a bit darker. So, with Highland tether, I'm going to stamp out oh, a few of these. So, I might need some, oh, not very dark. that be dark enough? Let's get gorgeous grape. And a bigger bit of corn. I know purple posy would have been too light. Darker. I think I need half a dozen of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, six of them. And then what I did was got the small flower punch again, and if you carefully Punch them out. Now they don't fit completely, you'll get white edges. But what I'll show you what I did with that. The white edges are uneven. If it was even, it wouldn't be so bad. show you what to do. Well, what I did. Right. Put that over there. And I've got a purple posy pen. Scrap bit of paper. And I just coloured in the edges. Oh, it's a different colour. Right, that's ruined it. I think I'll have to stamp another one. Let me see with Highland Heather. No. Too light. The only way we can find out is if we try. No, it's too light. Right, we'll get rid of that and stamp another one. Well, we're done with the punch. do is just get our paper snips and take off any of the pointy bits
taken off the point bits actually takes away some of the white. Two more to go. This one's got quite a bit of white, so just chop that off. There we are. Right, so we got my flowers done. I made a nice little mess while I was at it. Now with this, all I did was got my purple posy and just roughly went over all the flowers. Don't worry about going over the edge because you're going to cut the flowers out. Colored in, and what I did with the top flower, I colored it in again just to make it a bit darker. Than the rest and then I cut it out <coughs> now I didn't leave any white lines I cut it out on the ink lines oh, can't see me and I'm not worried if I've got a little bit of white or I cut a little bit of the black off we'll fix that it cut out in the bin then I got hold of a black marker pen and with the brush end and the back facing me I just went round the edge Okay. 
Now if you slip like I just done there, it's the back that gets marked and not the front. And I just slip there. So there we have it. A nice cut out. And it's defined by going around the edge with the black marker bin. So we've got four of them. We've got a load of little flowers. And we've got some white flowers. And I never cut out this leaf. our leaves there. right with the white flowers to shape them I just put that in my hand with a pencil and shape them up We could do that with these ones, I suppose. Put it in there. I never did it on the other card. I stuck them down flat. But no harm doing it to these ones. Some more. Three, six, yeah. Right. Bring back my card base and we'll glue the front on. stamp the sentiment. Do that in a minute. Um, put this inside. stamp the sentiment. I'm going to stamp this in gorgeous grape. And just stamp it down there. Maybe. Better as this is we're going to Cut it out, leaving a white border there, and now we have our sentiment. Nice. Let's get rid of that. Right, I've got to remember how I did this. Dimensionals. Right. These four had dimensionals. And I think they had three on each.
and this sentiment head dimensionals but I'm not going to put them all on yet because it depends where I put it um, did they have dimensionals? yep the white flowers had dimensionals and they had tiny ones Right, so we're going to lay these down like this at a slant. Oh, you can't see them. Leaves like that. Might as well put them straight. And then these yellow ones will sit in the middle, like that. And then these ones will sit round the edge, be glued flat. So let's get started. Let's do the top one first. And we're going to place that there. Place that there. Bring that in a bit more. And then put the other one on the bottom. And then these three <coughs> placed over the seam. And these ones can just go around the edge. I don't want that under. Sorry about that. And I'm just placing these randomly about. Well, these little leaves I'm going to stick under these big flowers uh, for the little flowers just so they've got a bit of greenery Lifted them up really. Never mind. Right, 
and then this will go I'm going to put that there yeah so I only need the one dimensional on it and glue that And now all we've got left to do is add some gems. I never added gems to the other one, but I am going to to this one because I think it needs it. And I'm going to put a gem in each centre of each of these little flowers. Not having much luck with these. Oh, this one. Right, and I want a gold gem for the center flowers. I don't want to put a silver one on the center, on the yellow, should I say. A little bit of glue so they stay stuck. There we are. Well done nicely. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the icon, a bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.